Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 34th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to begin our discussion on functions in PHP. So a function is a named unit of code and uh, what that means is that uh, let's say there is something that you want to do over and over again in your script file, right? So it could be a calculation like you know you want to calculate simple interest and you wanted to you know show that value a bunch of times in your script file or it could just be displaying you know messages to users uh, when they do something so you know when you want to do something like you know over and over again it makes sense to actually you know type in your code just once and uh, you know that's actually creating a function and give it a name and then call that code whenever you want to use it so there are two advantages of doing this. The first advantage is that it will actually save you time. So you won't have to type in the same, uh, you know, statements over and over again. And the second and the most important advantage is that if suppose, you know, uh, tomorrow you want to make some change to the way you make that calculation or the messages that you want to display, then you'll have to make those changes at just one position. And that is where you've created your function. And, uh, you know, you won't have to make those changes uh, wherever you've actually called that piece of code or, you know, um, wherever you've used it. So in this uh, tutorial, we're going to check out how we can create functions in PHP and uh, how we can call functions in PHP. So we're going to see how we can use functions. And then in the later tutorials, we're going to talk about, you know, how we can pass in arguments and default arguments and, you know, some more advanced things. So. On line number seven in this file, I have uh, the keyword function and uh, this is what you use to create functions in PHP. So you type in function, give a space and then you type in your function name. So I have created a function called hello underscore world and you can use the underscore character while uh, creating functions. And uh, then I have a set of empty parentheses. And by the way, we've actually been using functions in this course, you know, we've been using predefined functions. Uh, you know, those are functions that uh, programmers have written and are actually a part of uh, the PHP language like the string functions that we've been using or the numeric functions so you know over here we are discussing how we can create functions of our own and these functions are obviously not going to become a part of the PHP language uh, you know uh, these functions are for our for our reference and uh, you know for use within our script file so uh, I've created a function called hello world and uh, I have a set of parentheses after the text hello world and uh, the empty parentheses indicate that this function is not going to accept arguments, right? And then I have uh, an opening curly brace on line number eight and I have a closing curly brace on line number 10. And between these two, you know, I have just one executable statement and you can have as many statements as you want, but I just have the echo statement that's going to display the text hello world on screen. and. Uh, then on line number 11, that is outside the function definition, I have called the function by just typing in its name with the parentheses and I have put in a semicolon. So, you know, this is something that you need to be careful about. Uh, in PHP, when you create a function and when you complete the function definition, you know, we're completing the definition here with the closing curly brace, you don't have to type in a semicolon here. But when you make a function call in that statement, you do have to put in a semicolon, right? So what this is going to do is it's going to look for a function called hello world. It's going to find it here. It's going to get inside it and it's going to, you know, find just one echo statement. It's going to execute that and uh, we'll see the text hello world. And then on line number 12, I have created another function and uh, I've used the function keyword again and I've given this function the name power and uh, this function actually has a placeholder or a variable within parentheses. So this is to inform PHP that this function is going to accept an argument. It's not going to be like this function, you know, which just did this thing without, uh, you know, working with any value. This function is actually going to use this variable. It's going to display it here and it's actually going to, you know, perform a calculation based on the value that's provided. So inside this function, I have an echo statement that's going to display the text to the power and then it's going to you know show the value that has been passed to it in the function call statement and then is colon and then it's going to use the math function p or w to calculate 
2 raised to the power the number that's passed. So if you're going to pass, let's say, 2, then it's going to calculate the square of 2, so it's going to display 4. If you pass in 3, then it's going to calculate the cube of 2, it's going to display 8. So on line number 16 in this file, I have uh, called this function by typing in power, and within parentheses, I passed in 8 as an argument. So you know, this function is going to first uh, display 8 here, so we'll see the text 2 to the power 8 is and then uh, the power function is going to return 2 to the power 8 which is I guess 256 if I'm not wrong. So I'll show you the output of this uh, file now. So I'll go to my browser and instead of array pointers I'm going to look for functions 1.php and when I press the enter key I first see the text hello world. So this is the output from the first function in the file which was uh, hello world and uh, then I uh, see the text 2 to the power 8 is 256. Now the beauty of uh, functions as I said before I'm just going to you know reiterate that let's say later you want to calculate uh, 3 to the power um, you know whatever argument is passed in instead of using 2 as the base you want to use something else as the base. Now if you had called this function or if you if you had actually typed in this function and used the power function 15 times in your script file then you would have had to make you know the change uh, 3 inside the power function at all the places where you actually use the statement but if you're using a function and if you've called the function you know 15 times or 50 times or even 100 times you would have to make the change just at one place so you know you would have to make a change here and you would have to make a change within the power function that you've used right so now if i pass in you know a different value let's say i want to calculate the cube of 3 or you know 3 to the power 4 i'll type in 4 within parentheses and i've obviously changed the power function here and i'll save the file and uh, i'll go to my browser and refresh and now we see 3 to the power 4 is 81 right so this is the kind of flexibility that functions offer you and uh, as i said earlier we're going to check out um, some advanced concepts about function we're going to discuss functions in detail because they're really important and uh, form a very uh, significant part of uh, you know PHP as well as other programming languages so you know later on if you want to check out other languages like C or Java maybe you know functions are important in those languages too so anyway I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial I'm going to see you in the next video till then take care